Hello IFX fans and welcome back to another episode of Flight Deck. My name's Nathan and I'll be your captain on this journey. Let's see what's coming up in this month's episode. We take a look at the Vickers Wellington Mark II, a quick build F-35B, the vintage classic Heracles, a Hawker Hunter, we have an idea for your Christmas list, and finally we take a look at your images. It's a long haul flight this episode, so sit back, fasten your seatbelts and put all your luggage underneath your seat or in the overhead compartments. I'm Nathan, we're Airfix, and this is Flight Tech. As Britain looked to strike back at the start of World War II, the Vickers Wellington was arguably their most important aircraft, and they needed to ensure a constant supply of new machines. In an attempt to introduce some engine option flexibility and to provide the Wellington with greater power, around 400 Mark II Wellingtons were modified to take Rolls-Royce Merlin X engines, a development which gave this famous bomber a very different appearance. In 1939 the new Merlin engines were ready to be tested, and the first prototype flew in March 1939. Successfully the new Merlin engines provided an impressive 100 horsepower increase over the previous Pegasus engines. However, they increased the weight of the Mark II by 4,500 pounds. This meant the Mark II was faster than its predecessors, but the overall range and the bomb load were both reduced. After the Mark II had gone through vigorous testing, it went into service at the end of 1940, and a total of 401 Mark IIs were built. Available in two different scheme options with 133 pieces, I wonder how long it would take. In fact, in 1943, a Wellington was built from scratch in just 24 hours team made up of mostly women or men too young or too old to join the armed forces. An impressive record and just a glimpse of some of the history you can be a part of when building a kit like the Wellington. The Hanley Page HP 42 Heracles first appeared in a kit range back in 1965 and immediately found favour with modellers as one of the more interesting aircraft types produced in scale model kit form. Adding to the appeal of the new model, it also benefited from stunning box art produced by an icon of the modelling world, Mr Roy Cross, a man whose work was probably responsible for introducing many thousands of people to the modelling hobby over the years. The Hanley Page HP 42 Heracles was last seen in our range in 1993, but 28 years later we released it into a popular vintage classic range. This 1 to 144 scale Hanley Page HP 42 Heracles kit will allow modellers with fond memories of building this model many years ago to bring all their finely honed skills to tackling it once more. At the same time it will also introduce this relatively obscure yet incredibly historic aircraft type to a new audience of modellers, keen to embark on a slightly more unusual subject for the latest build project. For most of us, we can only imagine how magnificent a sight of one of these aviation beasts must have been in their heyday. However, this recent addition to our vintage classics range will at least allow us to have the benefit of a scale representation of the type in our display cabinets. Now I know it may feel a little early for some of you, but Christmas is coming. We know how hard it can be to find the perfect gift for that special someone. So we thought we'd share one of our favourite Christmas gift ideas for this year. The new Supermarine Spitfire Mark 5C small starter set. A perfect gift for a beginner this Christmas, with our updated starter set making an even better entry point to the hobby than the starter sets before. An ideal gift for a younger modeler, or perhaps that friend you've been trying to convince to get into the hobby. As well as the Supermarine Spitfire, we also have three other sets in our new starter set range. A Red Arrows Hawk, a Tiger One, and a Sherman Firefly. Even if you're buying for an experienced modeler, this could be a perfect stocking filler that they may be able to complete quickly on a Christmas morning. Our Christmas advent calendar has started. If you missed the last few days, don't worry. 
Head over to airfix.com and catch up now. Check in each day to find out our go-to Christmas gifts, take part in some giveaways, and of course, we'll be teasing some of our 2022 range. Airfix Quick Build is an exciting range of brick-based models, suitable as an introduction to modeling for any age of six and up. The pre-colored pieces simply push together to build an impressive model, which can then be decorated with the included self-adhesive stickers. The F35 is a single-seat, single-engine supersonic jet with the most advanced computers and networking abilities yet to take to the air, and stealth capabilities designed to make it hard to pick up on the enemy radar. The F35B variant, which has a lift fan mounted behind the cockpit, giving the jet short takeoff and vertical landing capabilities, meaning it can hover like a Harrier. As far as classic British jet aircraft are concerned, few would argue that the beautiful Hawker Hunter should be placed at the head of this group. Entering RAF service in 1954 and still providing training support almost 40 years later. The definitive interceptor version of the Hunter was a Mark VI, and by the end of 1958, all of the RAF's day fighter squadrons in Britain and Germany were equipped with these aircraft. Now we head over to your kits to take a look at some of your fantastic images from the last month. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for this month. If you have any ideas of what you'd like to see in future flight decks, please leave it in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Nathan, over and out. <laughs>